motorcycle odometer fraud and how to identify it. What I'm giving you are a list of 10 things to look for because what a lot of people like to do when they sell their bikes, they're going to run their bikes till they have 30 or 40,000 miles on it. They're going to go on eBay. They're going to spend 10 bucks and get a new odometer that says 8,000 miles. And guess what? Now they list it on Craigslist. They say it only has 8,000 miles. And how do you really know? Well, I'm giving you a list of 10 things to check. And if you can find three out of the 10 things that I've given you, I guarantee you the bike has high mileage. And it's probably not the low mileage that's being represented on the bike. I've broken it into 10 steps. The first step, you're going to want to look at the overall condition of the odometer as opposed to the rest of the bike. Does the odometer look maybe shiny and newer and the bike look a little bit dingy? Because if it does, it's a pretty good indication that it's been changed. Step two, you're going to want to check the retaining bolts or screws on the odometer housing and you're going to want to look for turn marks. There's no reason there should be any turn marks on there and if there are, it means that someone has attempted to take it off and here on my bike are the are the retaining bolts that actually hold the odometer on so you just want to look at them make sure there's no turn marks you go to step three you want to check the speedometer connecting bolt or screw for turn marks now it's located right on the wheel well and what some people will do some people even overlook this when they inspect bikes but when you go look at it if it's disconnected, you might as well run for your life because you have no idea how many miles are on it. But check out that screw or the bolt that's on your bike and see if it's been if there's any turn marks on it. Because if there is, I guarantee that that's one of the things if you know that the odometer has been changed. The next thing, check for check for brake pad wear. Now a lot of people like, oh man, what I got check for brake pad wear. People ride bikes different. Exactly, sure they do. But the most common, you know interval that you have to change your brakes is 15,000 miles. If you have people that like to, you know, pop wheelies and ride down the street and brake hard and turn corners, well, yeah, they'll have to change their bike sooner, but that's not a bike that you want to buy. When you do buy a bike, you want to be able to enjoy it. So brake pads go bad at about 15,000 miles. To give you an idea, this is my bike. These are my brake pads. I have um, 8,000 miles on my bike. My brakes are about 50%. So, you know, in another seven or 8,000 miles, I'm going to have to change my front brake pads. So if the bike's representing 8,000 miles and the brake pads are low, that's another good indicator that the bike has high mileage. Then check the fork seals. Now the fork seals, when you look at them, you want to check to see if they're leaking. And if they're leaking, these things will go bad at about 20,000 miles. And what I really like when you call the seller and you ask them, hey, have you done, you know, has there been any maintenance done on your bike? Yeah, I've just replaced my fork seals. That's great news for you. And you know why? Because it tells you the bike has a, at least... 20,000 miles on it and if he's claiming it only has 8,000 miles it should be a red flag for you because it's very rare that that would happen these seals are designed to last for a very long time again unless you're popping wheelies riding down the street jumping ramps etc all right step six check for turn marks on the housing bolts now at about 30,000 miles you're going to you know need to do a little work on the readjusting the valves or the shop should do it but you know, you're going to need to, about 30,000 miles, you'll have to do work on, on, the, on the valves and whatnot for preventative maintenance. So just take a look at each side of the bike for the housing bolts and see if there's any turn marks around them. And if there is, I guarantee you the bike has at least 25, 30,000 miles on it. And if it's only representing 8,000 you know, 8, miles, well, that should definitely be a red flag for you. Now, check for a fouled spark plug. I love this. The reason I love this is because when you go to buy a bike, I've done this a couple times, you go to buy a bike and you ask him, hey, could you take the spark plug out? Well, what do you need the spark plug? The bike obviously cranks. Yeah, it does. But you want to know what? The spark plug will tell you everything about a motorcycle that you cannot see. For instance, if you pull the spark plug out and it looks like this, well, there's obviously something is broken loose and it's flying between the pistons and the valves and it's damaged your spark plug. If your spark plug looks like this, well, this is a carbon fouled plug, and what this means is that your piston rings are bad. This usually happens around 30,000 miles. Same with here. This is an oil fouled plug. Now, with oil fouled plugs, it's about the same thing. This has to do with your valves that are out of adjustment, and it happens between 25 to 30,000 miles. Now, step eight check the chain wear indicator. The chain on a bike is going to last you between 20 to 30,000 miles depending on how you maintain it, but we're just going to use an average of 25,000 miles. So let's say this guy is claiming to have 8,000 miles on the bike and 
if you look at his chain wear indicator and it says, you know, it's about at the end of its life, guess what that tells you? It tells you that the bike has 25,000 miles on it. So if, if he's claiming 8,000 miles, but his chain is about done, guess what? High mileage bike. All right. And then we'll move on to step nine. You want to check the air filter. Now, this is another thing. People are like, you know, why would I do that? Let me tell you why. Because people who try to defraud someone are pretty bad on maintenance. And what happens is what I like to do, every 8,000 miles, you know, when I change my oil, I also change my air filter. Now, if you miss, and it gets a little dirty, but if you miss maybe a couple of those maintenance schedules, it's say, you know, three of them to where the bike, you know, you're at 24,000 miles and the air filter hasn't been changed, it would be completely dirty, nasty, and filthy. I'm not just talking about a little dirty. I'm talking about straight up nasty. And if it looks like that, I guarantee you the bike has high mileage. And if he's claiming it has low mileage, he's probably not being truthful with you. Then you go to step 10. You check the brake wear indicator. On the drums, they're a little different than the front brakes. Now, the front brakes, they go bad at about 15,000. But on drum brakes, they have um, a brake wear indicator on the back. And if you look at this picture, you, you see these two arrows? right next to each other well when you push down the brake pedal those arrows should not line up if they do line up that means that your 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 brake drums are bad and you're gonna have to change them and what does that tell you 30,000 miles you have to change that if he's claiming 8,000 miles on the bike then there you go so let's just go over a recap real quick first step one you check the condition of the odometer as opposed to the condition of the rest of the bike step two you check the retaining bolts or screws on the odometer housing for turn marks. Step three, you check the speedometer connecting bolt or screw for turn marks. Step four, you check brake pad wear because they go bad at about 15,000 miles. Step five, you check for fork seals. Fork seals will go bad at about 20,000 miles. Step six, check for turn marks on the housing bolts. This is preventive maintenance work that needs to be done on bikes. You, you can usually expect it to happen at about twenty five to 30,000 miles. Step six. Step seven. Check for fouled spark plug. Now, the fouled spark plug, it'll tell you everything about a motor that you cannot see. And you know, oil fouled, carbon fouled, whatever. It'll tell you everything about the motor you can't see. And if you have those problems, it's, it has about twenty five, thirty thousand miles on the bike. Step eight. Check the chain wear indicator. The chain wear indicator will tell you if the chain needs to be replaced. Chains, the life of a chain is 20 to 30,000 miles. We use 25,000 on average. So 25,000 miles on that, 8,000 miles on the odometer, you know. All right. Step nine, check the air filter. Make sure it's not absolutely filthy because it'll also indicate high mileage on the bike, poor maintenance. Step 10, check the brake wear indicator. And remember, the brake drums go bad at about 30,000 miles. If you can line those two arrows up, then the bike has a minimum of 30,000 miles on it. And there you go, folks. Those are 10 things to check. If you can find three out of the 10 I gave you, I guarantee you the odometer has been changed and you've just kept a couple thousand dollars in your pocket. Thank you again for watching. And don't forget, go ahead and comment, hit the like button, and I'll put another video up soon. Thanks a lot.